Has this ever happened to you? Well, to get your bandsaw blade back on, stay tuned and I'll show you how it's done. Hi everybody, welcome back from Gin's Wood Shop. Today, the blade come off my bandsaw. It comes with quite a ferocious pop actually because all the tension releases right away. Um, so kind of an uneasy feeling when that happens, but there's lots in case so it's not too bad. Uh, opening her up, I realized I should be cleaning it and actually have my shop back hooked right up to it. Uh, there's no reason I shouldn't be doing that, so I'll do that next time. For now, what happened is I have a zero clearance here. Okay, you can see here I have zero clearance uh, set up. I just took a little piece of wood and chucked it in there. It just basically prevents some chip out. It works pretty good. Uh, so anyway, and little pieces don't fall down the hole. So, um, I was taking it out and it caught, uh, there's some sawdust in here and it caught on the track and it pulled the blade forward, then popping it off the wheel. Everything's all right, folks. I didn't like that sound. There we go. Free. I'll leave that there. On the next episode, we'll do the bandsaw blade. Just joking, let's do it. But just clean up that right there. Just like that. I know, we should be wearing gloves. Everybody, if you do this, wear gloves. And safety glasses. So, basically you gotta set it up so it's basically in position. Uh, and then <clears throat> take the tension off your wheel. So I'm starting to get a little bit almost there. Okay, so I'm just lowering the wheel here until the bottom will reach. Oh my god, Jason. Oh my god, Jason. If you break your phone, you deserve it. So I'm going to put some tension back on it here. Now, before I go too tight, I'm just going to slowly turn it. And see the track on it, just to see if it stays aligned, it looks good. And just to try and turn it the other way too. Tracking really good, so we're good. If it wasn't tracking well, then you need to make an adjustment in the back and turn a nut. It's different on every band side. Now that it's set up and it's tracking perfect, uh, we can go ahead and tighten it up. As I'm tightening it though, I'm going to notice the bearing is, is catching here. And we don't want that to actually touch. We want that to just not touch. So what we're going to have to do is loosen this Allen nut. And then we're going to slide it back a little bit. And then we'll tighten it back down. Okay, so we'll go ahead and loosen this up here. And we can pull it back just a little bit. So you can see here, there's a small gap between the guide and the actual blade. And that's about the distance you want. Once you start adding a little bit of pressure, it should lay against this and run. These two here should only move as soon as you turn one direction or the other. And they're just to guide it to keep the blade straight. So let's go ahead and we're going to tighten this down. And I'll show you a little secret about tightening it down. Okay, so when we have it in position, it moves quite easy. So the first thing I'm going to do is just get the Allen key in there and get it to just a... When you tighten it up, it just kind of straightens out to where it's going to position itself. And so it's still really loose, but it's also, it's, it's got its position where it's sort of going to be. And at that point, you just make double check to make sure the gap is still the same. And then while you're turning it, put your finger on the front of it. Because when you turn it to the right, it's going to push it to the right a little bit while it's loose. So if you just hold on to it with your finger... 
and combo that together. You get it nice and tight. It doesn't move a budge. Okay, so same thing. Just loosen up these guys here. And it allows you to move them left to right. And we're going to give them about the same kind of space. Just a little gap. We're going to tighten it in. And remember when you're turning it this way, you're putting pressure that way. So you just want to gently hold it. And not allow it to move. And the first thing you want to do though, is just tighten it just to the point where it straightens itself into position. Allows a slight amount of movement, but not much. Find its position that you want it to be in. Hold it still and just tighten it down. And then once it's tight like that, you can then give it that extra little pull. So we'll go ahead and do the same thing here. So it's touching just on certain parts. It's not enough to turn it, but it's enough to touch it. So I'll loosen it. I'm going to move it out just slightly. Give it a little room. Tighten it down. Okay, so we're good there. Now let's check down below. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and loosen these up a little bit. Uh, even if you don't need to move them, I like to undo it anyway, uh, just to kind of loosen the nut. And then I can re-tighten it in position. Yeah. You got her. You got her there. You might as well do her right. Sometimes to, to uh, put these together, to align the bottom ones where I don't have a great sight, sometimes I'll actually loosen them both completely and just move the blade a little bit. <laughs> Get some little bit of room and that's all I need. Right there, push it with the blade. The sound you hear is the, is the top one um, right up there and we'll get that one next. All right, so we got it nice and loose, it can move. And again, I'm going to use a bleed and just push it back a little bit. And I'm going to do a test spin. You can hear it nice and quiet. So we'll go ahead and tighten that up. Well, there you have it. Got the general back up and running. Set the tension. They tell you the, the, uh, the settings and stuff, but blades stretch differently. And I don't know, manual is the best way to learn. And if you set set it by tone, you can you can always quickly check if it's the right setting, and you can adjust when you need to. So now I'm going to go back to resawing a sign, a Toy Story sign, and if you want to see me make it with a friend of mine, uh, we did a collaboration. We make the first cut, and myself. Well, you should go ahead and look in the description below, and you'll find a link to the whole collaboration. Dun 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 Bunch of great people I met over time. I don't know why I just tried to make a rhyme. I guess it worked. I don't know. One thing I do know. Ah crap. I gotta go.